Now to that mystery in Seattle and for some, the frightening sight in the sky. Tourists spotting something strange buzzing around their famous space needle while they were up there. Some were amused waving at it, others downright troubled by this. And tonight we've learned it was a drone. But we ask here who was flying it and should anyone be allowed to fly a drone that close to an American landmark? ABC's Cecilia Vega now with more of those pictures tonight and now the debate. Right there, high in the Seattle skies, a drone. The FAA now telling ABC News it is looking into that tiny remote control powered aircraft hovering above the observation deck of the famous Space Needle. While curious tourists waved, the mysterious flying object gave security quite a scare. Police say a man launched the drone right out of his hotel room window. There was no malcontent or malice. He wasn't trying to do anything wrong. It is just the latest incident raising questions about whether it's safe to fly drones above crowded cities. Take a look at this drone buzzing over the busy streets of New York last year and crash landing, nearly hitting pedestrians at the height of rush hour. And there also have been close calls with airplanes. We just saw a, a little drone uh, below us. A drone last year coming within 200 feet of a jumbo jet. Drones like these are exploding in popularity, but the rules already in place for how and where they can fly haven't caught up yet. Now, the FAA is working on new safety guidelines, but it could be still a couple more years before they take effect. Until then, police will keep their eyes on the skies. Cecilia Vega, ABC News, Los Angeles.